Okay, for round five, we are going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch as joining, and that is in that top chain stitch for the beginning chain, just like so. All right, and now we're going to chain four, skip two, and single crochet in the next one for 15 times. So chain four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to skip two and single crochet. Chain four, skip two, single crochet. Do that all the way around the circle and I'll see you at the other end. I got a chain four and skip two and slip stitch in the chain one. So one, two, three, four, skip two, slip stitch in the chain one. Okay, then, okay. There we go. Slip stitch into the chain one. Just like so. And we should have 16 chain four loops. So you can count those all the way around here to make sure you have 16 of them. Round six is you slip stitch in the single crochet and in the chain four loop. So now we're going to slip stitch into the single crochet, slip stitch into the chain four loop, just like so. Chain three and make three double crochet in the same loop. And this will be making our first brick. One, two, three. That's our first brick. Now the next part, we're going to chain two, single crochet, and chain two, all in the next chain four loop. So we chain two, single crochet, chain two. Okay, that's the lattice. All right. And then we're going to four double crochet in the next chain four loop. So it's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to repeat the lattice and the brick all the way around the loop. So it's chain two, single crochet, chain two, four double crochet. And I'm going to work all the way around my hat. I'll see you at the other side. Now we're going to work our way around. I'm down to the last part and this is going to be ended just a little differently than what you normally would. So we're going to chain two and then we're going to single crochet. This time we're going to just chain one and then we're going to single crochet in top of the chain three. So instead of slip stitching in here we're going to make a single crochet. And the reason we do that is it moves our working loop to the middle of this chain space. And this is a thing that when you learn how to do doilies, they often will end around with a stitch in the top of the chain instead of a slip stitch. So now round seven is a loop round. And we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet around this single crochet into this hole right here. So you just draw up the loop and you single crochet just like so. Then we're going to chain four 
and skip the four double crochet. Skip these four double crochet. And it's actually three double crochet in the chain stitch, but we're counting that as a double crochet. So we're going to skip these and then we're going to single crochet in the next chain two space. Just like so. Chain four. Now we're going to skip this single crochet and we're going to go in this next chain space and single crochet there. Chain four. Single crochet in the next chain two space, skipping these double crochets. And do that all the way around. Single crochet in the space. And I will meet you when we get back around to this last part. What I'm going to do is chain four, skip four double crochet and single crochet in the next chain two space. And again, We are going to do it differently. We're going to chain two, skip the next single crochet and double crochet into the first double crochet, I mean single crochet. So we've chained two, which is half of the loop. And now we're going to make a double crochet into that single crochet to make the other half of our chain four loop. And see how we're positioned in the middle of the loop? If I would have slip stitched here, I would have been positioned above the single crochet. All right. Okay, we're now we're going to move on to round eight. Round eight, we're going to chain three and double crochet in the space made by the last double crochet. So chain three and then double crochet in that hole around that double crochet, just like so. See how that works? Now we're going to do chain two, single crochet, chain two, in the next chain four loop. Chain two, single crochet, chain two. And this is the same way we've done it down here, except for we're over the bricks this time. Okay. We're always going to make our lattice over the brick and the brick over the lattice. So now we're going to do four double crochet in the next chain loop. And we know that's correct because this is a lattice below it. So two three, four. So the brick is above the lattice. Then we're going to chain two, single crochet, chain two. And we're going to work the bricks and lattice all the way around, alternating until we get to the other end. It says in the pattern to repeat from the star six times. So when we've done that, I will resume and show you what to do next. Okay, I've repeated from the star six times more on round eight. And now we're going to chain two, single crochet, chain two in the next chain four loop. Two, single crochet, chain two. Now we're going to do two double crochet in the next chain two loop. And that will complete that brick. And we'll end our stitching in the middle of the brick. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Just like so. And you can see your bricks and lattices forming now for your hat.